human reactions. Imagine a sky that's not just empty space. It's a living digital chessboard. And one player, a small nation in the Middle East, has mastered this board in a way that changes everything. Their tools? A small group of fighter jets so advanced, so cleverly connected, that they don't just fly, they think together. This is not science fiction. This is the real, everyday shield of the Israeli Air Force. What you'll see today isn't just about speed or missiles. It's about a silent conversation between machines. It's about how five different jets form one unbreakable net of security. By the end, you'll see why this Air Force, though not the biggest, is often called the smartest and the most feared. Let's start with a simple question. How does a country that could fit inside a single U.S. state, surrounded by challenges, sleep safely at night? A huge part of the answer is floating 30,000 feet above the desert. It's a strategy built on brains over pure brawn, on quality over quantity. We're going to look at each key player in this aerial team, not just as a plane, but as a vital piece in a much bigger puzzle. First, meet the brain of the operation, the F-35I Adir. Most people hear stealth jet and think it's just hard to see on radar. For Israel, that's only the beginning. Think of the Adir not as a plane, but as the most powerful smartphone ever built with wings. It's based on America's F-35, but Israeli engineers have given it a complete software and hardware transplant. Its main job is to be a ghost. It slips into enemy airspace without a whisper, a shadow in the electronic night. But while it's invisible, it sees everything. This is the magic trick. Inside the cockpit, the pilot doesn't just see radar blips, they see a live, high-definition movie of the entire battle zone. How? The jet packs like a Wi-Fi hub in the sky. It instantly connects to data from spy satellites high above, from drones loitering nearby, and from soldiers on the ground. A drone sees a hidden missile launcher. In a heartbeat, that image pops up on the Adir pilot screen. The pilot sees what the drone sees, what the satellite sees, and what other jets see, all as one picture. This is called sensor fusion, and it gives the pilot a superpower, the power to understand the entire fight before making a single move. But Israel added their own special touch. Their version of the jet has a world-class electronic attack system. This means it can reach out with invisible electronic fingers and blind enemy radars. It can send out false signals, making enemy air defense crews see phantom jets where there are none or miss the real one coming right at them. It can even trick an incoming missile, convincing it to fly harmlessly away. So the Adir is a spy, a command center, and an electronic wizard all in one sleek, invisible shape. It doesn't just win a fight, it changes the rules before the fight even begins. Next, we have the backbone, the reliable workhorse that gets the trough daily jobs done, the F-16I Sufa, or Storm. If the Adir is the brilliant new smartphone, the Sufa is the incredibly reliable, toughened-up pickup truck that you can always count on. It's based on the famous American F-16, but it's been stretched, upgraded, and packed with Israeli gear. You can recognize it by the two long curved fuel tanks stuck to its spine. These give it incredible range. This jet can fly deep, deep into hostile territory, patrol there for hours, and still have the fuel to get home. That endurance is a game changer for watching over a restless region. Its radar is a master of multitasking. While flying a routine patrol, it can simultaneously track dozens of different objects in the air. Friendly jets, commercial airliners, and potential threats, all at the same time over a huge distance. But its real personality comes from the pod hanging under its belly. This is its electronic warfare suite, its personal bodyguard. This pod constantly shouts a cloud of electronic noise around the jet. To an enemy radar operator trying to lock on, the Sufa looks fuzzy, broken up and confusing. It's like trying to watch TV through heavy static. This bubble of confusion protects not just the Sufa, but often the other jets flying near it. And then there are its weapons. 
This jet is the definition of multi-role. In the morning, it can fly with air-to-air -air missiles to guard the border from enemy fighters. In the afternoon, it can land, get loaded with precise GPS-guided bombs, and go hit a specific building in a surgical strike. This flexibility makes it priceless. It's always ready, always adaptable, forming the solid, dependable core of the fighter fleet. For the big jobs, when you need to deliver a message that cannot be ignored, you call in the heavy lifter, the F-15I Ram Thunder. This jet is about raw, overwhelming power. It's big, fast, and carries more palms and missiles than any other jet in Israel's arsenal. Think of it as the aerial battleship. Its job is often to be the first one through the door at the start of a major conflict. Its powerful radar can see threats hundreds of miles away, painting a clear picture of the danger zone long before it arrives. Then it can launch its heavy, long-range missiles from a safe distance, demolishing key enemy air defenses, runways, or command centers. It's a deterrent. Its very existence says, think twice before you start something, because we can reach out and touch you, decisively. But Israel didn't just buy this powerful jet, they made it smarter. They wired it to be the best friend of drone swarms. Imagine this, a pack of small, cheap drones flies ahead of the ram, scouting and identifying targets. The data from all those drones flows directly into the ram's cockpit. The pilot then chooses the biggest, most important target and delivers a single enormous precision bomb from the sky. It's the perfect combination of smart scouts and a powerful fist. Now, let's talk about homegrown pride. Not every tool needs to be bought from a prod. The Gafir C-10 is Israel's own invention, born of necessity and clever engineering. Years ago, facing an arms embargo, Israel decided to build its own fighter jet. The Kafir was the result. Today's C-10 model is a classic story of, don't throw it out, upgrade it. They took an old, sturdy French jet body and gave it a brand new American engine, making it much faster. Then they stuffed it with 100% Israeli-made brains. A new radar, new computers, and new weapon systems. What you get is a tough, agile, and surprisingly deadly little jet. It's smaller and nimbler than the giants like the F-15, which makes it a fox in a dogfight. Hard to catch, hard to hit. Its main role today is as a tactical striker. It's perfect for quick reaction missions, where time is critical. It can take off from shorter, rougher runways if needed. It often handles precise strikes on moving targets or provides close air support to troops in contact with the enemy. The Kafir proves a powerful point. Israel can design, build, and perfect its own world-class military technology. It's a symbol of self-reliance. So, what is the secret sauce that ties all these different jets together? It's the network. This is the most important idea. Israel doesn't see its air force as a collection of individual planes. It sees it as one single, distributed weapon system. Each jet, each drone, each satellite is a sensor or shooter plugged into the same grid. Human Reactions Let's paint a real picture. A tiny drone, barely bigger than a model airplane, is hovering over a suspicious area. It spots a truck hiding rocket launchers under a canopy. In less than a second, that video feed is beamed to a satellite, then down to a ground station, then instantly shared with an F-35I patrolling 50 miles away. The F-35I pilot sees the truck, clearly marked, on their helmet display. They already know if there are friendly forces nearby, what the weather is, and the best angle of attack, all without having to search for it. They authorize a strike, but instead of the F-35I firing, it sends the target data to a nearby SUFA carrying the perfect weapon for that job. The SUFA launches its missile. The missile is guided, in part, by data from the original drone. The truck is destroyed. The pilot of the F-35I, who never fired a shot, managed the entire operation from the sky. This is the future of war. It's not about the lone hero pilot. It's about teamwork between man and machine, between different machines across land, air, and space. 
The speed of this information loop is Israel's greatest weapon. They can see a threat, decide what to do, and act on it faster than their enemy can even understand what's happening. Their electronic warfare capabilities mean they can fight this battle in the invisible spectrum of radio waves, silencing the enemy's ears and eyes before the first physical shot is even fired. For a small country, this technological shield is everything. It's a deterrent, telling potential adversaries that the cost of attack will be high. It's a precise surgical tool, allowing Israel to defend itself while trying to avoid wider conflicts. And it's a constantly evolving project. Every jet in the fleet is regularly updated. New software is uploaded. Lessons learned from real-world missions are fed back into the simulators and the engineering labs. There is no final version. There is only the next, better version. This relentless focus on innovation, on making every piece of technology talk to every other piece, is what keeps Israel safe. It turns geography from a weakness into a strength. They might not have strategic depth on the ground, but in the digital space above it, they have built an empire of awareness and precision. So the next time you look up at a clear blue sky, remember, for some, that blue is alive with data. It's a canvas where intelligence, speed, and silicon create a shield that is felt more than it is seen. It's a quiet promise of security, written not on paper, but in code, and flown on the wings of some of the most thoughtfully engineered machines in the world. If this peek behind the curtain of modern air power intrigued you, if it made you see that the real magic is in the connections, then do us a favor. Give this video a like. It helps more people find real, authentic content like this. Subscribe to War Tech Zone and hit the bell. We break down the real technology behind global security, making it simple and clear. Now we want to hear from you. In your opinion, which is more powerful, having one unstoppable super jet or having a perfectly networked team of different specialized jets? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you know someone fascinated by how technology shapes our world, share this with them. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.